Hey, 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 Joe Kaiser here. How's everybody doing today? All right, I got the Rock 64, and this is a four gigabyte memory version. I'm gonna go over it real quick with you, and then I'm gonna show you how to put it inside of its acrylic case. All right, we starting on the top, we have the EMMC slot. You can put up to, I believe, a 128 megabyte EMMC card. You can use that to flash Android to and use it just as an Android product. It's got your Pi buses, uh, Pi 5 and uh, Pi 2, I believe that is. Um, your on off switch and reset switch you have your SD card slot which is spring loaded you have your power slot you have your HDMI slot you have your headphone and uh, your audio jack you have your Ethernet port you have your USB 2.0 USB 3.0 so this thing's pretty loaded. It plays 4K video at 60p. That is the maximum it can do. I haven't tested it yet, so I can't tell you guys how it does. It's a fairly new product. Uh, I would say within the last six months this came out. If you're familiar with a Raspberry Pi, this is it. This is a similar product, except it's uh, made by a different company. Now they've had other versions, but this is their newest version of the single board computer. So there's lots of things you can do with this thing. What I'm probably going to be doing with this one specifically is making a live streaming, a 4K live streaming uh, machine. That, that's my plans. Uh, I could definitely buy one and just get it done, but that's no fun. I like to program my own, maybe run, you know, not maybe, definitely run a Linux version that's compatible with this. There is uh, versions on GitHub you can go get, um, and, you know, those programmers work diligently on bringing you the best program for them. Now, the acrylic case is a little tricky once you first look at it because there are accessories you can get that, that go on top, that plug into your buses. So this acrylic case uh, will work with certain accessories and they make it so it's, it's a little universal. So when you first get it, you're like, oh, well, how does this go together? So, oop. you have the bottom piece with some plastic standoffs and then you have your top piece with just the holes through it. Now you have these brass inserts as well. When, when, when you first look at this acrylic piece here, it's got the grooves on the inside of the hole and then your brass insert has grooves on it. So you probably automatically assume you put that in there and then screw it down. But everything doesn't fit right. There would be play in it. This would go back and forth. So I'm looking, looking, looking. Then I finally realized when I looked at a, another picture of it, how exactly it goes together. When you're just putting the single board inside of this and sandwiching it together, that is not the proper way. So, let me show you real quick how you use those. You're gonna take the long screws it comes up with, or it comes up with, it comes with. Sorry about my dirty hands. Look, I work at a gas station. It is what it is. Because somebody commented in a forum I was reading about, they are watching one of my videos, the Herbal Liquidizer video. They're like, oh, he's spot on. He's absolutely correct, but he does have dirty fingers. <laughs> yes, I do. Not all the time. When I'm at work, maybe. All right, so you see that long, the log screw I went up from the bottom. What's gonna happen here is you're gonna position your board like this. That sits on top. The screw goes through there. Now it doesn't come with any, uh, any of the motherboard washers or anything like that. I would say, uh, yeah, use them. 
I mean, why wouldn't you? I, I don't know. But uh, you take your brass insert like this and you're not going to use it as an insert. You're actually going to screw it in on top like this. And what this will allow, actually, it comes with small screws as well. So when you have your uh, the another piece of development board you want to attach that sits in here, and then these standoffs, these turn into standoffs, and you, and you screw it in through the top. I mean, it's just something I don't have I can't show you, so well, I'm not even going to talk about it. But that is going to be the proper assembly of this thing like that. So why don't we uh, why don't we try one out here? Man, this change of weather has got my nose running like a faucet. It's killing me. Blow it as much as I want, and it just is not helping. All right, so you can see it sits on there like that, and that's it. Now the rest of it, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I have to really go into depth here but uh, you take the finished screw it comes with you take one of these big metal standoffs screw it in of course and then you put all four in and this sits on top like that and it leaves just enough room for the for the other components you can plug in I suggest just leaving the top off if you're gonna if you're gonna use this and other components with it. I would just keep it like this because it doesn't leave much room to run jumpers, uh, any flex cables or anything, and and get them in there properly without bending the heck out of them and possibly breaking them over time. I, it's just a suggestion. There there are some other alternatives. I mean, listen, I got this for $8 when I got the board, which cost about $45, I believe. Um, I ordered the direct from manufacturer. There, there are some other sites you can get them on for a little bit cheaper, but the shipping's a little bit more. So it, it, it's all about the same. You know, it is what it is. I figured, why well, buy this? Why not get one of these for now? This is going to end up in a case. So I, I'll probably end up buying a 4K capture uh, unit on its own and I'll shuck it, meaning take the electronics out of it, put those electronics into another box with this, and then I have my 4K uh, live stream TV ready to go. But that's it, that's it. There's the Rock 64. There's how you put it in its acrylic case real quick. And uh, you guys have any questions, just uh, shoot. I'll try to answer them the best I can. I'm not a professional. You know, I'm just a hobbyist, just like some of you that are going to come over here to watch us and, and figure out how to put this case together and what's going on with the Rock 64. But I remain as helpful as I can be. And sometimes... Actually, a lot of times I get a little help myself from people coming to my videos. They're able to offer their expertise as well. So don't be afraid to leave a comment down below if you have something valuable to say because other people do read the comments. A lot of times your comments come in handy just as much as the video that I just made. I, I've noticed that a lot of times on some of my older videos that are still watched a lot that you know there's a good community here we, we all help each other out so that's why i'm all about keeping that community and i have one more thing to add that i have to throw in i need a thousand subscribers guys a thousand subscribers in the next 29 days so to celebrate the fact that i know i'm going to get this send an email eskate world don't forget usa at gmail.com this is solely for the giveaway all right so some people read my description and took eskateworld at gmail.com and emailed that email and it's not that big of a deal i registered them in the giveaway uh manually myself but i might get things mixed up so so please make sure you send the email to eskateworldusa at gmail.com 
give me your YouTube name and I'll register you in the giveaway. So far we have a $100 gift card. I believe it's going to be a $100 eBay gift card and I'm going to have at least one more prize. Out of a thousand, if I have just a thousand subscribers, you would have a two in a thousand chance of winning. Uh, in all reality, it's whoever registers for the giveaway. So far, I have about five or six people, I believe. You know, send me that email. I need that email as proof that you did register because it's got the date and time and all that. And it's a way to get a hold of you. I can't tell you how many giveaways I've seen where the people had to give it away to another person because they just did it through their comments and they never got a hold of the person because the person never bothered to read the comment when they told them they won. I've seen that quite a few times. So I have to have your email on record here at eSkateWorldUSA at gmail.com. This way, after I do the giveaway, I can actually show proof that the person did register, they're a real winner. And I'm gonna check to see if you're subscribed after the giveaway. If I pull your name and you're not a subscriber, I'm gonna throw it away and I'm gonna to go to the next person because that would not be fair to the people who are actually subscribers. All right, guys. And listen, you come over and you want a subscription back, just put it in the comments. Say, hey, yo, throw me a sub. I will subscribe to every single person that asks me. EastgateWorldUSA at gmail.com. Give me your YouTube username so I can register you in the giveaway. All right, guys. Have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great whatever it is, wherever you're at. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.